Hey, what's up everyone? It's Mass Man Reviews. We're back again with another video. And what we have here for you today is initials impressions on three perfumes, actually six perfumes, uh, three which are, are brand new and we're gonna do the unboxing for you right here live on the channel. So let's just get into it. So first, we have this one right here, which is the beauty. It is Oud for Greatness. No, nah, it's not. It's Oud for Glory. So this is uh, Oud for Greatness um, Inspiration. So it's inspired by Oud for Greatness. You could call it a clone or a copy, but um, this is the Latafa version of Oud for Greatness, and it's called Oud for Glory. So let's go ahead and open this up. All right, so we're opening it up. Really nice packaging. The box is, is really nice. All right. there we go. So that's the box right there. The plastic came a little bit cracked there. I didn't notice that. We open it up. And that's the bottle right there. Really nice. Check that out. It looks exactly like Oud for Greatness. It's just a little bit different uh, as far as the, the different little touches that Latafa does, but the cap is nice and heavy. The bottle's heavy. Really nice bottle. All right. So let's go ahead and uh, check out the atomizer. And uh, let's go ahead and, and get our initial thoughts on this. It's pretty wide. It sprays pretty good. Let's put that back there. Okay. Interesting. I think I need to get another puff on this. Let's get that. Really interesting scent. Uh, you get the rose for sure. The rose is, is very dominant in that scent. Um, it's not uh, overbearing rose. It's sort of a masculine rose. It's not very feminine at all. Overall, really nice. It has a little bit of must to it. And the oud is, is not um, coming out right now, but I'm pretty sure the oud is gonna um, be very prominent as as it dries down a little bit. So that was Food for Glory. All right. Next one that we're gonna unbox here is a classic here that a lot of people um, should know about, and that is uh, Mega Man. And uh, as I said in pre previous videos, uh, Sterling Perfumes, uh, is the parent company of Flavia and also our Moff. And this is one of their sub companies, Flavia, and this is Mega Man. This is a beautiful offering. I'm not gonna tell you what, what these are. I kind of slipped with this one with the Boot for Glory, but I won't tell you what the rest uh, of the perfumes are supposed to smell like. It's just an initial impressions. box is okay. The presentation is, is okay. Compared to the Oud for uh, Glory, this one is not as, uh, as cool. has a magnetic cap, but it's not really sturdy. Kind of plasticky. Um, has this faux leather around the bottle and chrome. Now let's get to, to what we want, which is the juice. And again, um, one thing that I noticed is that they kind of hit or miss with the, the bottles, um, or mop that is, but. All right, this is 
Another sweetness, very sweet. <sighs> Smell that apple. Mm. Pretty interesting scent. I'm pretty sure that there's rosonic notes in there. Really nice, so far another winner. So we got, we're, we're two for two, really good. Like this one, I could detect right away what, what's in there, but that uh, Ooh for Glory was a little bit harder to detect. The notes, it's just a little bit more complex. You smell that Ooh for Glory again. Okay, it's developing into something different now. So that, that's Ooh for Glory. And let's go ahead and, and smell some of the other ones that are already unboxed. This one right here is uh, Royal Hunt. We got that. Royal Hunt. See the sprayer. Pretty good. Wow, this is another mysterious scent. Really good. It um, reminds me a little bit of Dylan Blue, but more potent. Um, stronger, much more um, powerful than Dylan Blue. And that's uh, Royal Hunt. Okay, this one is Green Sapphire. Green Sapphire. And this one is really nice. I'm familiar with Green Sapphire, but I haven't shown you guys this. Is in a, a little quick initial impressions and unboxing, if you will. Really nice pine, woody, woodsy scent. Um, very nice sapphire. And then uh, we have Legacy or Legacy. Comes like in this Zippo bottle. Guess it's okay. See how that spray works. Pretty nice and wide. has a very barbershop-esque type scent, but um, kind of like a modern take on, on barbershop. Definitely lavenders in there. And then finally, we have this one, the Alexandria 3. This is a big boy box. So, open that up. Wow. That really nice. Let's see if I can open this. Okay. Let's slide it open, but this is a really what is it a book? Oh, it opens up like that. Voila, isn't that nice? It's pretty cool. All right, let's see what this, uh, so you got that beautiful presentation comes with, with the sleeve in here. I don't think this comes out, but that's how that looks right there, velvet inlet. All right, let's see, let's see what's going on with this smell. Wow, I wish I had smell of vision you can smell that. Mm. Very good. Another mysterious scent, very captivating, really good. So let's uh, go ahead and present you all of them again.
Alright guys, hope you guys can see that really good. And that's it. Um, that's just a quick unboxing. Initial impressions overall, pretty good sense. Um, this one is going to be a blue alternative. This is a very niche type quality um, scent. This one uh, right here is going to be a high-end designer interpretation. Uh, another niche alternative, high-end designer alternative, and another niche um, alternative as well. I'm not going to give you um, the, the actual um, scents that they're supposed to be like. This is just an initial impression. If I slipped up, I slipped up, but this is when, when I do the overall review, we'll, we'll get into that. All right, guys, peace and blessings. Take care. Hope you liked the video. Subscribe, like, comment below. Later.